Yeah, police say that customer will soon be facing assault charges after he an attack an employee here at the Winco behind me, all because of a gift card. It was just after 730 Sunday night when this man in yellow walked into the Winco in Moore, not to shop, but with a dilemma. I just know that he expected there to be money on that gift card and there was no money on that gift card. In a fit of rage, the customer grabs a roll of stickers and chucks it at the employee's neck. He didn't like the service he was getting, which is what aggravated him. Customers stare in shock at the outburst. But that wouldn't be the end of the customer service scuffle after police say the employee fuels the fire. And then uh, the victim says something which causes him to get further frustrated. So then he in turn runs down the victim and tries to kick him. The customer falls to the ground, picks up his hat and storms off. On Wednesday, police took to social media with pictures of the suspect and his getaway truck. Within hours, someone called him in. We had somebody call in and um, positively identify the suspect. Uh, and at that point now, we're just waiting to file charges. Police urge shoppers to lead with patience, not aggression. These employees are dealing with a lot and they're having to deal with frustrated customers and customers that aren't happy with necessarily stuff that's completely out of their hands. They give that company a chance to fix the problem before they escalate to violence. Now, police aren't releasing that suspect's name until those charges have been filed in the next day or so. Fortunately, authorities tell us that that employee was not seriously injured.